Hello, what's up you two photographer Ronnie Sweet and I tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can color grade your images easily using camera raw or even Photoshop. So I've noticed that so most of you actually don't have capture that I use to color grade and I want to show you an easy way of how to get the same look within Photoshop. So I know this is what most of you have always wanted me to do and this is a tutorial that I think most of you have always anticipated. So if at all you have been waiting for such a tutorial, make it a point to hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this tutorial to many people out there. And this is going to also help the channel grow. So make sure to hit the like button on this video. So this is what we have and we're already in the camera filter. And let me show you a quick before and after. So this is the image before and this is what we're going to be achieving in this very tutorial. So basically, let me first of all give you some brief information about this image. It is a raw file using, taken using my Canon 60 camera. And the settings that I showed the image at, at ISO 100, I used a Tamron 70-200 f2.8 lens and I shot it at 117mm. And the f-stop was f5 and the shutter speed was 1 out of 320 seconds. So basically these are settings in which I shot the image and you can see the before and after for the color grading. So let's go straight into the color grading process. Just going to come right to this and I'm going to reset the image to default so that we can understand everything about color grading within the camera raw filter. So when you come to the camera raw filter, what you have to understand or take into consideration is before you color grade any image, always make sure that you have corrected the lighting issues in the image and the contrast values because that is going to give you appetite or it is going to make you really excited about color grading the image. So it is like when you're cooking and you want to first of all prepare the ingredients before you can go ahead and cook or fry them. So let's first of all do that in the basic adjustments so i'm just going to come to the highlights and you can see that most of the highlights in her jacket or her top right here or in her coat are really blown out so i'm just going to come to the highlights and recover that by taking the highlights down and when you feel like that is not okay for you you can as well come and take down the whites to get back more information so i usually do this when it comes to overblown out areas in maybe gowns and white outfits or reflective outfits or outfits that reflect color. So after I've done this, I just come and add contrast within the image because I prefer images that look a little bit more contrasty. Then I'm going to open up the shadows slightly and simply take down my blacks a little bit. So that is going to add a richer contrast value within the image. Then what I tend to do next, I come and add clarity to the image. After around 5, that looks okay. And by just doing that, you can see a before and after. So right now the image looks better and we have corrected the lighting and contrast issues within this very image. So anything is going to be coloring it and we're going to come straight down to our color mixer. So if I told you you don't have color mixer and you have an older version of camera raw it may be called the hue saturation and luminance so let me first of all go through these values and i explain them a little bit better so first of all i'm going to first of all explain luminance so luminance is the brightness or darkness of a given color so luminance is the brightness value of a given color for example if i told you look at the green when you take the slider of the greens towards the right hand side, you're going to be brightening up the greens and when you take it towards the left hand side, you are basically going to be darkening the greens in the image. So that is what luminance is all about. The next we have saturation. So saturation basically is the intensity of a given color. For example, let me first of all use greens because the green color is a little bit more dominant than the rest of the colors in this photo. So if at all I take the saturation slider towards the left hand side, it's going to decrease on the amount of greens within the image. And taking it towards the right hand side, it's going to increase 
on the amount of the greens in the image so this basically saturation is the intensity of a given color then this we also have the hues so the hues a little bit complicated to understand but i'm going to make it as simple as possible for everyone to understand out there so we are as well going to be using the greens because these are a little bit more dominant so basically if at all we look at the hues we are going to be changing a color to either look like a color on top of it as you're seeing this order right here or look like a color below the selected color so let me first of all use the greens to explain this so if at all you look at the, the greens and you click right here and drag it towards the left hand side it means you're going to be making the greens like the color on top of it so whichever color that you select and you move the slider towards the left hand side you're going to be making that color look like the color on top of it i hope i've explained that quite better so if at all you select a color and you move the slider under hues and you move the greens for example towards the right hand side you're going to make the green color look like the color below it so whichever color that you have selected when you move that slider under the hues towards the right hand side you're going to be making it look like a color below it and when you move the slider towards the left hand side you're going to be making that color look like a color on top of it so basically that is how the hue option works within the color mixer or the hue saturation and luminance panel so what we are going to do first of all we are first of all going to handle the skin tones of the model right here so in order to handle the skin tones we are basically going to make you can see that we have a little bit of an inconsistency within the skin color we have a little bit of some red patches for example in the neck area so we just want to hue them to look more on the orange side so just going to come the reds and simply take uh, the reds towards the orange side and that is going to make or oh, it's going to make these colors blend a little bit more with the ones in the face of the model so let me try to zoom out by using control minus to zoom out you can see that the image is now having a better skin color so after that i'm just going to come to this because it has made the face look a little bit more on the orange side so i'm just going to hue the orange back towards the red side so that is the first thing that i did when i was color grading this very image so after you have done this the next thing that you would love to do when it comes to color grading we are going to go straight into handling the background remember personally i'm not a fan of this green color or the natural greens within an image so what i'm going to do basically i'm going to come to the hues of the greens and i'm going to make the greens more on the aqua side just like that after around 60 that looks okay then i'm going to come to my saturation and since the greens a little bit too much i'm just going to come and basically take down that color or take out the greens and also completely or slightly take down the yellows just a little bit so i feel like the yellows are a little bit distracting and taking out the attention from the model i'll just come to the hues and also try to hue the yellows to look more on the green side but this is going to make the green a little bit intense or too much so we're just going to come back to the greens and the yellows and simply take Odell back those and also take down the greens so this looks okay i'm just going to take this up slightly so this looks okay and it looks fine then I'm going to come to the luminous and simply brighten up the greens because they're a little bit dark for my liking. I'll just come and brighten up the green color or the greens within the image just like that. So that it can be natural and blend in better with the image. So basically this is what I did when I was color grading this very image. And you can see a quick before and after, before, after. 
and when you feel like it is a little bit intense or too much in the green color you can as well come and desaturate that green color so basically this is how to color grade your images using camera or photoshop and if at all you have found the video helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tools and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating